welcome to another Doctor Who figure unboxing video and today we'll be unboxing the Rose Tyler with K9 for collector figures. The, this figure is 5.5 inch collector series version and it's for 5 plus only. And at the back there's loads of other figures you can buy like the 11th Doctor in cowboy hat, the Reaping Angel, Dalek Sec, 10th Doctor with Adipose, I've done an unboxing with that before, Sarah Jane Smith with K9, I've got that figure and of course that one's included again in this one, and then Rose Hollow with K9 and that's the one we're unboxing, it has a scam me version here, so you can like scan it and you get Doctor Who games. So, I give the packaging 9 out of 10 and because it hasn't got that much detail about the figure, about its articulation, like others. So now I'm going to take it out of the box and we're going to review each figure each time. So here she is. So the first we'll be reviewing her. So it's, ha it's got on to articulation. Her head can move 360 degrees. Her arms can move 360 degrees, her waist can move 360 degrees. She can do the splits. That's really good, but they've added bendy knees now. Um, unfortunately, they haven't got any articulation on the arms. So maybe that's one thing they could include. They to make remake this. I'd give this figure a um, seven out of no six out of ten actually because although it's cheap plastic, which is not really a problem, but uh, I found out that her hair fell off, and I'd, so it's not very greatly made this figure. So yeah, that's why I'm going to give it 6 out of 10. Also, the hands are easy to snap off. As you can see, they're only just bendy plastic. And it doesn't really stand up very well. Which is really cheaply made. So, yeah, moving on to the next action figure is K9. He hasn't got really any articulation on him. He's got no articulation at all. Alright, at the bottom it's got wheels to move with. So yeah, there's no articulation, the head doesn't move or anything. Although, what they've got, it's got a special feature. If you press this here, this will come off and it shows a load of wires. Look. So yeah, that's really good and that's the piece. It um, very easily just clips in in there. Do it and then do it again as many times as you like. The paint job on this figure is okay, but I wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10 due to a little scratch. Don't know if that's from packaging or if it was an error with the figure making. So, yeah, but apart from that little scratch, I think they've done really well with the paint job. Okay, um, I have got a K9 which is very similar to this but it's all like dirty, the broken version I'd call it. I've got him white here, he is, if you can see the difference, it all fake marks on it and everything, and that's a bit greyer than that, but they both move and everything, and if I take that, you can see that's all like, um, painted to be looking rusty and that one's painted to look really nice I hope you enjoyed my unboxing today please leave a like, um, a like or a comment and feel free to share this video with other mates and also subscribe thank you for watching this unboxing video and have a nice day